How you doing? This is the Detective Harry Dunn, and we're down here on East 30th Street Live right now at the Him by Her Foundation uh, event, and we explain a little bit about what's going on here today. Today we have a, we have an event, a community empowerment event, where we're teaching individuals, and we're helping the opportunity for the center to become open. That's our goal. Within the center, we'll be teaching young kids how to become entrepreneurs, how to become professionals in the community. Empowering them, giving them a, a spark in their eye where they can see a future that they can become and things that they can aspire to be. You know, we built right here inside this uh, gymnasium. It's called the Enterprise Center. It's catered to 125,000 kids already here in the state of Indiana. And we're trying to bring it right here in this neighborhood. We, and in addition, in this, on the same floor, we'll have what's called the Industrial Center. The Industrial Center will be training adults, teaching them how to become entrepreneurs as well, as far as cosmetology and barbering. Electricians, have that certified, lawn care, roofing, plumbing, teaching them how Everybody. to work with their hands, right? <laughs> right. And, and so that, that's one of our goals, you know, to, to help limit a person's excuses, but give them an opportunity. Yes, so that's the next question. You know, we know uh, a lot of kids, they have criminal backgrounds, and they're a little, I had a friend, the same thing, and he was nervous about how to go about doing it. He didn't really know if he should, which way he should do it when he fill out the application. You know, what, what, what can you say to the kids and give them a little bit of encouragement that there is a way to still get find employment even though you do have a criminal background? One of the things that I'm pushing more than anything is the spirit of entrepreneurship. We will teach you how to go down to the Secretary of State and fill out your paperwork to begin to start your business. But we'll also teach you how to operate that business. We'll give you the opportunities to learn how to get business cards, what the word professionalism is really all about, so you can make a door-to-door -door approach. Now we do know that the community and police department they have a nice good relationship. How do we build that back up to where the community again and the police department can come together as one and kind of get back to where things back in the good old days? I believe this is the start right here. This is how you do it. You have great deputies that you see all throughout the building. Absolutely. You see all throughout the building. Showing that they care. You know, everybody has something to do today, but they're here. You have officers that are involved. You have the sheriff's department that's involved. You see me here today. Yes. So we have more than one tool, set of tools in our toolbox. And so we're showing that, we're displaying that today. The officers care. And we need to help more and understand how much we care. We are here to protect and serve, but this is another way that we serve. What do you think is causing an increase in violent crimes in the city? We've seen a huge increase in the last couple of years with uh, violent crimes as a whole. What do you think is causing the uprising? I think one of the number one causes is a lack of employment. If a person's time is occupied because they're at work, you don't have time to commit to crime. If you're exhausted by the time you get home, you don't have time to commit to crime. I believe we have to get individuals up there. And Statistics as far as the ratio goes applies in the state of Indiana. But you gotta have the skill set for the job that's available. And how you fill that gap is by teaching the skills. And that's what So him by her is gonna, is gonna be able to show the youth as well as adults how to go out and get employment, keep employment, and also be self-sufficient and also run their own business if they I couldn't have said it better than <laughs> Thank you.